breathing is important to life. We cannot live without breathing. All of this breathing could not happen without the help from the respiratory system. Respiratory system is made up of organs in the body that help us to breathe. The main job of respiratory system is to move fresh air, which is the oxygen, into our body and remove waste gas, which is the carbon dioxide. The parts of respiratory system are nasal cavity, pharynx, larynx, trachea, bronchi, and lungs. Nasal cavity The nose is what we normally use to inhale and exhale. Its two holes are called nostrils, and the skin lining inside has tiny hairs called cilia, which filter the dust and other particles in the air when we breathe. The mouth, on the other hand, is what we use to breathe when we cannot breathe through our nose. Pharynx The pharynx is the opening behind the nose and mouth and is part of both the respiratory and digestive systems. Both food and air pass through the pharynx. The pharynx ends in the esophagus and the larynx. Larynx The larynx is also known as the voice box because it contains the vocal cords and the different muscles used in producing sounds. The epiglottis, a cartilage found at the top of the larynx, prevents food and water from entering the windpipe and the lungs. Trachea The trachea is also referred to as the windpipe. It is a tube that carries air in and out of our lungs. The end of the trachea is split into two tubes called the bronchi. Bronchi Bronchi are the main airways into the lungs. They also have several thin-walled branches called bronchioles. These bronchioles lead to air sacs called alveoli, where most of the gas exchange happens. Lungs the lungs are the main organ for respiration. They consist of a cluster of bronchioles and alveoli, blood vessels, and elastic tissue. Their main function is to transfer oxygen into the bloodstream and to excrete carbon dioxide into the air. In short, this is where the oxygen is exchanged for carbon dioxide. When we breathe in, the air enters the nose. Cilia and mucus drop tiny particles found in the air and warm and moisten the air. Air moves down the throat or pharynx. The trachea or windpipe then carries the air to the lungs. Air moves through bronchi and to hair-like tubes bronchioles. Air enters the alveoli and oxygen passes into the bloodstream. This process is inhalation or aspiration. Inhalation is the process of breathing in. During inhalation, our diaphragm contracts or tightens and moves downward. In this way, it could provide a bigger space for our lungs to expand in the chest cavity. 
Also, the intercostal muscles help widen the area in the chest cavity. They contract to pull our rib cage both upward and outward when we breathe. As our lungs expand, air enters the nose and mouth, traveling towards our windpipe and into our lungs. The opposite of inhalation is exhalation or expiration. Exhalation is the process of breathing out. When we breathe out or exhale, our diaphragm relaxes and moves upward into the chest cavity. The intercostal muscles also relax to decrease the area in the chest cavity. As the space in the chest cavity reduces, carbon dioxide is pushed out of our lungs and windpipe and then out of our nose or mouth.